Hi, it's Deb with Art and Grace, and how is everybody tonight? I, um, my phone stand broke, so I've got it in a weird configuration, so you can see me right now, but I'm going to put it down onto the artwork, so, um, we can just get started, and if you'll go ahead and leave me comments when you pop in, um, go ahead and, and ask questions or leave comments, and as soon as this is over, I will look at them. I'll answer anything that you ask or, um, you know, reply to any comments, so I just won't be able to read them while I'm painting. But I realize how close we are to St. Patrick's Day and I have nothing green. So tell me if you decorate for St. Patrick's at all or if um, if it's just like one of those days that, you know, because I really honestly, I just hadn't thought about it. So I'm gonna do something green. I'm gonna turn you down so you can see. And just let me know you were here so I can't see the comments right this second, but I will go back and look. So just say hey to me. Let me know that you're here. And we'll go back. I'll go back. Okay, so I've already drawn out my little design and this is based on the carrot that I did. Um, some of you guys painted that with me, so hopefully you can see this, but just the black and white stripe lines I loved and I thought that was so cute so I'm gonna do the same thing for this and then I'm gonna spruce it up just a little bit at the end so you'll see that oh that's blue that's my paint's gray that's not even black grab the wrong color how funny yeah I do need black so bear with me while I find it It's funny that I'm finding chalk paint, but not my, here it is. So I hope everybody's having a good week. I have not been live all week, so I really was missing everybody. So I wanted to pop on here before any more time goes by and paint something. And I thought I might as well do this something green, so. But I feel like, you know, a lot of teachers decorate their classrooms and things like that. But I was wondering, do we, do y'all, you know, decorate your homes or do anything green? Or is that more just one of those days that kind of goes by and we don't really do a lot with it? These little palette cards that I have are really nice. And I just made a mess because I poured paint all over it. But normally they're like this and you can just out a little bit because we waste so much paint because we think we're gonna need a lot and most of our items um, you know we really don't need all that much if you load your brush good and you know unless it's a really big piece then then we just waste a lot so this kind of is a good reminder for me to just put out a little bit not like this but like this so yeah I like having those little cards, but I always, a lot of times I just use something I already have, like a piece of plastic or foil, you know. They were on sale and they came like a hundred to a pack, so I grabbed them. They're really good for the little paint kits that I offer sometimes. And this would be a really cute little project for a paint kit actually. And I just go ahead and do my sides while I'm, you know, painting. And it does not have to be perfect. So, but it's kind of good to carry it over while you've got your brush in the paint and it'll be drying while we're doing the rest of it. I, I hot glued this little hanger on here because I had a cute little idea that I'm gonna do with it, so. I have a little, um, I call it the coffee nook. I mean, it's just like a little place in my kitchen that has the coffee maker and coffee and, you know, so I'm going to hang this over there. And I wanted um, something a little different than just a canvas, but this canvas is one that I got at Dollar Tree. So I use those a lot for things that, you know, aren't a big deal and I don't even know if I'm going to keep it kind of a thing. So for $1, you know, but that's why you see it probably bowing a little bit. It's not super tight, but that's fine. You know, for things like that, it's adequate. And 
doing these little um, lines, you know, that's the only hard part. Of it. It's not hard. I mean, there's nothing hard about this. So if you have not painted before, this would be a really good little thing to try. Just grab you some acrylic paint like this. Just It just literally says acrylic paint and a canvas from the Dollar Tree and you're in business. I want a brush. So we're almost to the weekend. Tell me what you guys have planned. Anybody have something fun? I have a friend who's in Florida at the beach and she keeps posting pictures and I'm just living through her. They're so pretty. It looks like they're the only ones on the beach and it's, you know, the, she's recorded some of the ocean, just the waves crashing. It's, I told her I'm gonna lay in my backyard and put that video on and pretend that I'm there. So tell me if you have any fun plans going on. I guess next week is spring break. So I can remember being in high school and stuff and my parents worked full time of course and I don't know, we just didn't have money for trips. And when we took a trip, it was to go see grandparents. So, um, anyway, we, it was so awful, <laughs> you know, all your friends would be going and doing fun trips and getting sunburned and having all these full, cool stories. And here we were just sitting out in the backyard, you know, so it was just kind of another week for us. So I think it's awesome if you guys get to go away. It's definitely refreshing, isn't it, to take a trip and get new scenery and get kind of re-inspired and refreshed. So when y'all go on a vacation, do you like to like kind of lay around and rest and read and just enjoy nature? Or do you like the adventure kind, like, you know, white water rafting or skiing or whatever? Like, tell me what kind of vacation is your favorite. I can't see any comments. I wish I could. But anyway, I'll look at them when I'm done. We're almost done with this first part. And then we'll get to the shamrock. Clover, whatever you call it. And I think time changes this weekend. Somebody tell me if that's right. I think I heard that or read that. So this will be fall back, spring forward. So we will lose an hour. Does anybody know why we do this? I don't know that I know why we do time change. Is it? Like what I think I remember hearing was it was for farmers back in the day. So I've heard two things. I heard that it was for farmers back in the day. And then I've also heard it was for school kids. So they didn't have to wait on the bus in the dark. So I, if you know, would you tell me? I would like to know the real reason. I could Google it, but while I'm thinking about it, I bet one of y'all know. We always like to gain the hour. We don't like to give up the hour, right? Oh, I just messed that black up right there. Not being careful, but that's okay. Easy fix. And then what I'm gonna do so it doesn't look so weird on the bottom is I'm gonna go ahead and start my next row of black. I'll probably just put just a little bit. As if I'm going to start another row. And again, guys, you don't need to have any special supplies. Just your basic things from the Dollar Tree. And you can make something really cute. 
for your home. So that way it doesn't look so weird having white at the bottom. Okay, so I hope y'all can see this. And then what I do, I wipe my brush off before I put it in the water and try to get as much of that black off as I can. Um, and that way, when I put it in the water, the water doesn't turn totally black. And then let's lay down a couple of greens. And do y'all see that I've got my gold texture out? So we'll do something with that. I think this is a really pretty one. Okay, so this is Kelly, no, Holly Green, and this is Sour Apple, and I think this is such a pretty green. And I'm gonna go to a round brush, let's see. And just start with my darkest color. In fact, I think I'm gonna darken that up just a little bit. Just grab a little bit of black. And kind of go around these edges. You can do this pretty fast. It doesn't have to be perfect. But I'm just kind of reinforcing those edges. And the way I did this, um, I made my little shamrock, was I took a, I just drew out a heart. I'm going to see if I kept that little piece of paper. I don't see it, but I'm sure it's around here somewhere. But I drew out a little heart. So can you see that? So it's just a heart. And then I turned the heart and put it there and did another one and then another one. So it's just three hearts that you can draw and get your basic shape. So you don't need a, you don't even need a tracer if you don't, you know. Just go for it. And then this round brush will just kind of do the work for you, just going around the curves. And I'm just kind of putting my green down, coming back into my little uh, lighter green. Sour apple, I think it's called. And I suggest letting your kids help you. So if you've got kids, you know, give them a color sheet or, a, you know, a piece like a cereal box or a piece of cardboard. Or if you have an extra, you know, canvas, you can let them have that. And let them have fun, you know, let them paint. Just put down some paper like I did and let them go to town. And get out some of that creative energy. They We all... We all need to create something. It's so therapeutic to do art and create something. I'm over blending just because, I don't know, I'm just kind of having fun talking and I'm just kind of blending those two together and it's fine. You can blend like this or you can let one dry and go back and then streak it. I mean, you could just do anything you want with this, but just having fun like this and just kind of 
doing what you feel like doing as you paint is just the best. It's just the most, that's where it's therapy, I think. I didn't have anything in my mind other than just coming on and visiting with you guys and painting something green. I want this, um, like I said, from a little coffee area, if you weren't on here, I want to said that. And so, I'm going to come back and just kind of add a little more streakiness in here. Your paint's always going to dry a little bit darker. I think that'll be cute. Okay, hopefully y'all can see that. And then I definitely wanted to add some gold. So let's see what we're going to do with that. So this is my Deco Art Americana Texture. Oh, this is the one that's not open. Let's see, let me just look at this one and see. I'll use the one I have open. I hate to open a new one. This is a different color. I was gonna use this color, the champagne gold, but um, I'm gonna use the one that's open because I forgot that is brand new. So this one is just regular gold. And it's very thick. If you haven't painted with this before, it's so fun and it's so pretty on. So see, very thick, creamy, like it doesn't come off. It's just very thick. And keep your lid on because if you don't have your lid on, it'll dry out. And then you can, you can see this one is pretty dry. Let's just open the champagne for fun. There's nothing better than new paint. So I hope y'all are still with me. Y'all have to leave some comments so that I know that somebody was here because when I get off of here and I look, if there's no comments, I'll think nobody watched at all. Okay, so let's just compare these two because this one is brand new. But it is creamier and you know that you can tell that I've left this one, I've left the lid off while I was working before. And so I definitely recommend to keep your lid on. And I'm just gonna go around the edges. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and put some on here. Nice, creamy. Just love it. And then I'm gonna do what I said I need to do and keep the lid on. And normally I would let this dry before I go into it with the gold. Uh, it will be okay if we just go right ahead and I hope y'all can still see. I am a canvas turner when I paint. I, I don't usually use an easel. I just have it flat, but I turn. I turn and turn and turn. I hope y'all can see how pretty this gold is. You don't even need to get your brush wet. You can just use this straight out of the jar. So guys, you wanna hear something funny? Okay, so I hope that y'all are here. 
because like I said, this is going to be really awkward when I get off if nobody's listening to me. But I got a letter from one of my mom's, um, let's see what he is to her. I'm trying to remember because she, let's see, she, he is, I'm not, I don't remember. He's, he's like a first cousin, second cousin. I don't know what it's called. Somehow they're related. Okay, his, his mother was the sister of my mom's dad. So I think that makes him her cousin. Anyway, he has done a lot of family genealogy and I have Cherokee in my history, so in my ancestry. So um, I have a like seven generations back grandfather or great grandfather, whatever you call it, that was a Cherokee chief. Isn't that crazy? So maybe that explains why I've always loved Indian jewelry. I love turquoise and white buffalo and just all the gemstones. And anyway, I'm excited to find out more. We just got a letter from him in the mail. Um, he sent it to our church because he didn't have our address, but he knew where we were. So anyway, I'm excited to find out more and just read about all that. I think that genealogy and finding out your family history is really, really interesting. Have any of y'all done that? I know now, you know, there's a lot of tools that make it much easier. It's just all online, so... Okay. He lives in Florida, so I don't know him personally, really. I mean, I've heard of him, but I've not met him, I don't guess. Okay, that's good. I can always come back over it. If I want to later. Now, yeah, I'm going to want to come back and fix that later. But let me show you what I'm going to do to make it a little bit cuter for this little area that I'm going to put it. I'm going to hot glue this little bow right here at the top. Maybe that wasn't the right place to put the glue. Let me, I should have kind of put it down and figured where I wanted it. Yeah, that'll work. So just put it at the base of this. So I'm just gonna put a little glue at the base of this. And all this is is two ribbons tied together in the middle with jute, and that's it. Nothing fancy. Everybody can do that. And I'm just gonna put that at the top right here and make that a little bit cuter. But I don't know how long we've been on, but not very long. And you see that you've already got a cute little piece of art you can use. And that's it. So simple, simple, simple. And just like I said, the Dollar Tree uh, canvas, ribbon I already had, the jute I already had, and of course I always have paint, so very small investment. So that way if you don't love it or you don't even wanna keep it next year, you, you're only at a dollar or so. So I'm gonna bring this up for just a second. So hopefully I've got people watching and can you know have some comments. I'm gonna just leave a comment to see if it brings them up. Sometimes it does. But no, it didn't. So anyway, if you're here with me, thank you so much. And hopefully there's comments for me to read when I'm done. And if you watch the replay, put hashtag replay so that I know you were here. And 
you can always uh, text the at sign and then Art Grace TX for Art Grace Texas. So Art Grace TX with the at sign in front of it, and you can text that to 8010801810. Sorry guys, 81010. So Art Grace TX to 81010. And that will give you an alert when I go live next time. And hopefully that will be in a day or two. So hope, hopefully you all had fun with me if you're here. And we'll do this again. But I wanted to just show you something so super easy. Easy, easy. So y'all have a good night. And I'll see you next time. Bye.